Jerome and Ellen created an entire artistic world. The West Hampton property is completely unique. It's not just a house. There was a joy and a liveliness from the minute you drove in the gate, driving through the cottagemans placed inside the trees. You knew you were in a very special environment. It is rare that collectors and artists have the kind of deep relationships that Jerome and Ellen had with artists. The Art Barn was a wonderful example of a collaboration between a collector and an artist, Serge Spitzer. Jerome helped Serge so much with his art and his career, and Serge gave so much inspiration to Jerome and Ellen. It was an expansive space, but totally unpretentious. That was very much like an artist's studio, and a perfect example of how to show art in the type of building where art was made. He went for the radical works, the tough works. The taste was not conservative, and this embrace of innovation and radicality made Jerome a great collector of new art, made him open to innovations. Mariko Mori stunned the art community when she emerged in her early 20s. I thought it was remarkable that Jerome, with quite a wide age difference between <laughs> him and a 24-year-old artist, immediately grasped how interesting this was and made a giant commitment. This is a big piece. And I thought it was remarkable that he embraced the work so strongly. One of the great accomplishments and focuses of the collection is superb figurative art. Jerome was able to focus on great figurative artists like Marlene Dumas, like Lynette, like Wangeshi. One of the great achievements of our civilization is the emergence of the connoisseur, the collector who understands quality, importance, meaning in works of art from the antique to the present. And I will remember Jerome as one of the great connoisseurs of his generation. Mm -hmm.